For more than 80 years, the aviation industry has asked for Sherwin-Williams Aerospace products. Specifiers and painters in the commercial, military, general and business aircraft segments recognize Sherwin-Williams as a global leader in providing certified products and for developing new, innovative products. Sherwin-Williams is also known for product and technical support provided by a knowledgeable and responsive team. Sherwin-Williams products provide an extremely high quality finish. They are also designed for easy application. To help you achieve a beautiful and durable finish, this video demonstrates the proper method for applying a JetGlow Express paint system. Once you've done a thorough stripping of the aircraft surface and applied a pre-treatment to the stripped surface, you're ready to apply a primer. First, select one of Sherwin-Williams corrosion-resistant primers and prepare it properly by shaking it thoroughly and then mixing the base and components at specific ratios. Refer to the product data sheets for the proper mixing ratios. Next, check viscosity of the primer mix to ensure correct application, drying, and performance properties. Allow an induction period of 15 to 30 minutes and check the temperature of the primer, airframe, and paint hanger to ensure each is at room temperature. After filtering the paint materials, check your spray gun settings and begin applying the primer in one light, continuous, closed film coat. When finished, allow at least two hours for drying at room temperature. Next, take dry film thickness readings. They should be approximately one mil DFT. For projects requiring optimum finishes, such as on business jets, a sanding surfacer should be applied. Epoxy or urethane options are available. The sanding surfacer will require 2 to 12 hours of dry time, depending on which product is used and its thickness. After drying, the surfacer coat should be approximately 4 to 6 mils thick. Before sanding, apply a guide coat to help identify high and low irregular surfaces and areas needing sanded. The surface should be thoroughly abraded with 240 or 320 grit sandpaper or red abrasive pads. Ideally, the surfacer should be sanded down to a minimum of around two mils. At this point, perform filling work along seams and rivets using Sherwin-Williams Fill Bond Epoxy Putty. When all filling and sanding is complete, Rinse the plane's entire surface and allow it to dry. Finally, blow down the plane with clean, compressed air and recheck the masking once again. Now it is time to apply the Jet Glow Express top coat. But first, prepare the plane surface by blowing it off and then wiping it down with Sherwin Williams Prepaint Wiping Solvent. Now, thoroughly shake your top coat. Then, mix the proper amounts of top coat and the components. A tip for this process. Always add hardener and activator into the base component and stir. Then, pour the activator of choice slowly into the mix. Adjust the mix to the correct viscosity with solvent and allow a full 30 minutes for induction. Remember to, again, Check the temperature of the mixed top coat, airframe, and hanger. After the induction period, filter the mixed top coat into the spray pots. Adjust your spray guns to the proper setting. Then begin applying using smooth, sweeping, horizontal passes, with each slightly overlapping the last. Typically, two or three medium wet coats of top coat are applied to ensure it has good opacity flow and leveling. Allow a 30 to 45 minute flash period between coats. After a layer of top coat has been applied, allow several hours of dry time. The final top coat thickness should be 2 to 3 mils dry. After drying, the livery striping process is ready to begin. By following these guidelines, 
it will help you achieve outstanding results with Sherwin-Williams Top Coats. For more specific details on the products mentioned in this video, visit the Sherwin-Williams website at swaerospace.com or ask Sherwin-Williams by contacting your Sherwin-Williams service representative.